Our next big storm will be coming to the United States over the next few days, bringing the risk of severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and the potential for tornadoes. Additionally, we are anticipating a heat wave to return as we go throughout the first two weeks of August, with brutal heat returning to areas like the Great Plains and even back into the Ohio Valley and the Midwest. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today and over the last last 24 hours, the weather's actually been pretty active across the Great Plains, where we did have a lot of severe weather coming off of the Rockies. This is from some of our mountainous features that are essentially helping to aid some wind shear and even some higher dew points coming out of the south with all of our moisture, and this is leading to a more elevated risk of severe weather, which will continue today, tomorrow, and even into the work week next week. We are expecting severe weather to be a big theme across the Great Plains with this particular feature. This is also all due to the fact that we have upper-level troughing back along the west coast which should continue to bring the potential for some severe weather. So definitely a concern here across the Great Plains that should eventually move into areas like the Midwest and the Ohio Valley by the very tail end of next week. Back over in the southeast and across the Gulf Coast, we've had a lot of pop-up showers and thunderstorms. This is very typical stuff for this time of the year. And then back over in the tropics, things are very quiet right now, but that could change by the middle of August. Now over the next few days, we are expecting our weather pattern to change quite a bit from what we've been experiencing over the last week, which over the last seven days, we haven't seen anything really too major when it has come to severe weather. But as we go into the early portion of next week, we are expecting a completely different weather pattern as our high pressure system in the mid to upper levels is now retreating back to the west. This was originally back over in the southeast. It's been over the southern plains for the last few days. Now it's kind of just sitting under the Rockies. Now while that's happening, we also have troughing that is now coming into play back over in the Pacific Northwest. And this is going to allow some energy to basically move over the Rockies. And as that happens, we are anticipating the return of some significant severe weather, which has already begun. We saw some severe weather yesterday, areas like Cheyenne, Wyoming, and even back over towards Denver, Colorado. And we are anticipating more severe weather today, tomorrow, and all the way through at least the middle of this week in these same exact areas. Now, by the time we go into Wednesday and Thursday, we're expecting the same sort of weather pattern to continue. However, the ridge is going to weaken by the end of next week, which could open the door for our jet stream to dip a bit further down to the south, back over in the northern plains in the Midwest. And this may lead to the return of severe weather, even back over in the Midwest, even the Ohio Valley, and through the Central Plains, which may mean that damaging winds hail and even the potential for a few tornadoes would exist. So definitely make sure that you're still staying weather aware. I know severe weather season technically over for some of these areas, but it really isn't. We actually still have ongoing severe weather, which is likely going to continue to be a concern at least through the middle of August. And then by the time we go into the middle of August, this is where things become a lot more uncertain, but typically by around mid-August, like August 15th or so, severe weather is usually a lot less frequent, and then tropics start to heat up, which we've not seen much in the way of tropical activity so far, but I do think by the middle of August, we may have some sort of concern in the Atlantic Ocean when it comes to maybe a tropical storm, but as of right now, too early to tell what's going to be happening there. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, beginning with today, which is Saturday, and the Storm Prediction Center has a large slight risk of severe weather in place, which goes from Nebraska back into the Texas Panhandle, also just east of Denver, Colorado. Marginal threat goes all the way through Montana, also back into northwestern Texas. There's also a marginal threat back over in the southeast. So the biggest concern for today will be damaging winds, and there's also a potential for very large hail in some areas, mainly in Colorado, western Kansas, perhaps even back into the Texas Panhandle handle. There's also a potential for a couple of tornadoes. I wouldn't even be surprised if they added a 5% tornado risk somewhere in this area where there's a higher confidence of a localized tornado threat. But overall, I think we're just mainly talking about the potential for a couple of tornadoes, maybe even a land spout or two in this region. So stay weather aware. Anywhere from about Amarillo, Texas, all the way back up towards northeastern Colorado. On Sunday, we're expecting the same general area for another risk of severe weather, mainly from South Dakota back into North Texas, where all hazards of severe weather will once again be on the table, including some isolated to scattered damaging winds, some large hail, and also the potential for an isolated tornado or two, which will be mainly back over in western Oklahoma, also the Texas Panhandle, and southwestern Kansas. I've got to point out, by the way, this is pretty rare. You don't usually see a tornado risk in Texas during the month of August. We don't actually usually see this. I know it might kind of surprise people, but there aren't very many instances where there are tornadoes in August in the state of Texas. It only usually happens from tropical systems, so I just want to point that out there. 
there. This is definitely a little bit of a different weather pattern than what we've been, you know, really witnessing over the last several weeks. Now let's talk more about the timing of severe weather, beginning with what is happening today, which we're expecting a pretty dry morning, but by about four to five o'clock, storms will begin to initiate just off to the east of the Rockies, which is all basically a bunch of lifts there from the mountainous regions. And then by around five to six o'clock, we're expecting a lot of storms to be clustered together. So damaging winds should be the biggest concern across the board. But there is a chance that one or two supercells could kind of break off from those clusters, and that could lead to a localized tornado threat. So stay weather aware, have a tornado action plan ready to go in case a tornado warning is issued. By seven to eight o'clock, these storms will continue to push to the east towards Goodland, Kansas, also towards areas in far western Oklahoma and the Oklahoma Panhandle, just in the north of Amarillo. And then by nine to 10 o'clock, these storms will continue to track to the east. I wouldn't even be surprised if we had a localized tornado threat just to the north of Amarillo as well, sometime between about six and nine o'clock this evening. So again, there is a chance for a couple of tornadoes. It's going to really highly depend, though, on storms being basically broken away from our cluster of thunderstorms. By midnight, most of the storms are falling apart in Kansas and Oklahoma. There will likely be a localized threat of severe weather continuing in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, though, just after midnight with damaging winds hail and a low tornado risk existing. Sunday doesn't look a whole lot different. Storms will fire up right around about three, four, five o'clock in West Kansas and also eastern Colorado, where damaging winds, large hail, and a localized tornado threat may exist. There could also be a little line of thunderstorms ongoing during the late day on Sunday back over in South Dakota and northern Nebraska. That would likely fall apart before ever getting towards Des Moines, Iowa, for example. But if you're in far northwestern Iowa, we may see a localized damaging wind threat evolve with that line of thunderstorms. And as we go into Monday, the threat of severe weather will continue mainly across the central plains where more big hail and wind storms will be possible just to the east of our upper level high pressure system. That'll be mainly across Kansas, Oklahoma, and also Nebraska. So again, stay weather where low tornado risk will also exist. And then as we go into Tuesday, the threat of severe weather will continue in these same exact areas. And unfortunately, there will be a potential for flooding across the Great Plains, especially over the next 48 hours, as we are expecting the threat of at least some stationary or slow moving thunderstorms. That'll be mainly, I think, across the Texas Panhandle tonight into tomorrow. So something to watch for. We could have some areas pick up one to four inches of rain. Localized spots could be as high as five to six inches of rainfall. So definitely, again, make sure that you're staying weather aware out there. Turn around, don't drown on the roadways. And then overall, from the Weather Prediction Center, we are expecting a ton of rainfall over the next seven days in the southeast. If you're back over in Georgia, Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, or even over in South Carolina, anywhere in that orange or yellow, we are expecting a widespread four to eight inches of rainfall. And on top of that, isolated damaging winds are going to be possible pretty much every single day for the next several days as storms continue. And back over in the Great Plains, we are expecting at least a widespread tenth of an inch of rainfall, all the way as high as three or four inches of rainfall in the red and purple areas. However, I do anticipate that there will be plenty of localized areas, especially in Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas over the next few days. They'll pick up as much as six to eight inches of rainfall. It's just going to come down more to mesoscale features, and this particular uh, guidance over the next seven days does not necessarily account for all of those. So just something to keep in mind, a lot of rain is coming over the next week or two. And as we mentioned earlier in the forecast, another big heat wave is on the horizon. Right now, below average temperatures are dominating across the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, back along the East Coast. But by the time we go into the middle of this week, that warm weather is going to make a return across the Great Plains, and it will only be a matter of time until that moves into the Midwest and back into the Ohio Valley. So by Thursday and Friday, get ready for some much warmer weather. The summer heat is going to kick right back into gear, I think, by the end of this upcoming work week. And then by the time we go into next weekend, all that warm weather will make its way into the Ohio Valley in the Northeast. And then another shot of cold air is going to be a possibility as we get closer to the middle of August in these same exact areas. So again, enjoy the nice weather if you're in the Midwest. I'm currently in the Midwest. If you didn't already hear, I am currently on vacation. That is why my background looks different. But aside from all the wildfire smoke, the weather is phenomenal with temperatures in the high 70s and even low temperatures diving into the 50s. Now, beyond the next few days, we are expecting severe weather to continue to be a possibility as troughing continues along the Rockies. So by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there will continue to be severe weather across the central and northern plains. So that's really not going to go anywhere. It'll be mostly isolated to scattered. And by Friday and Saturday, we may see the return of severe weather back over in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. This is definitely an area I would be keeping an eye on. I do think our next chance of a live stream will probably be sometime next weekend. So definitely stay tuned for that. We may have a return of live streams when it comes to severe weather. And then by the time we go into the middle of August, another big high pressure system may begin to develop again across the Midwest and the Great Lakes, which may at least temporarily blockade severe weather from being a problem.
And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. As a reminder, I am on vacation. The next video will probably be a couple of days from now. If not, it might not be until sometime around Tuesday or Wednesday. So stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. No live streams expected for the next few days. There's no way to go live from where I'm at. I don't think really much is streamable anyway over the next few days. Just continue to stay weather aware and have ways to receive warnings. So we'll see you guys all again in the next video or live stream.